And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground, and should sleep, and rise night and day, and the seed should spring and grow up, he knoweth not how. For the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself, first the blade, then the ear, after that the full corn in the ear. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he putteth in the sickle, because the harvest is come. I believe it is near the harvest time. Don't you believe it? You all agree with that? We are near the harvest time. Now, the seed has been planted. That's what's the matter with it. Now, at the harvest time, the seed is back to its original life, back to the Bible. Malachi 4 said it would be brought that way. Oh, oh my must have all, to be this way, it must have all of the Word. Is that right? holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Let's bow our head for a word of prayer. Mighty God, we are grateful, Lord, again.
to be in the house of God and to be in this meeting. Lord, we are in for a blessing and we know that you have spoken to your servants, Lord, and they will come just like Moses when he came to the backside of the desert, when he made the pill of fire. Lord, he had that says the Lord. It's what we are waiting for. Lord, we commit them to you and we bless your name for it. We thank you for it in advance. Thank you. Bless the service. Bless the song service. We ask the blessings in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's sing that song. Michael Rowe, the Bota Show. Amen. Glory to God. Michael Rowe, the Bota Show. Hallelujah. Oh, Michael Rowe, the Bota Show.
a victory in the name of Jesus. Demons have got to flee. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have the victory.
God. We appreciate the choir. Never lost my praise. Never lost my faith. Never lost my joy. Glory to God. Because our joy is full. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You know the joy of sound. And because you have seen all this, let's sing this song of sin. Your love surround me. Oh, be in it. Should keep and rise night and day, and the seed should spring and grow up. You know they not how. You get that one. It has nothing to do with you. You just cast the seed, just like threw it. I was not even careful about it. Amen. Hallelujah. And he went to sleep. And he woke up and the seed grew and he didn't know, he didn't know how and the seed is already in you <laughs> glory to God amen and should sleep and rise night and day and the seed should spring and grow up and he know it not that for the earth bringeth forth fruits of herself first the blade that was Luther then the ear Amen. That was Wesley. After the full corn, after the f that the full corn in the ear, that was the Azusha's fruit. 
the restoration of kings. Amen. Those are the Pente that was those were Pentecostals. Amen. But when the fruit is brought forth, immediately he put it in the sickle. And I can see the, the fields are ready. The fruit is here already. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The harvest is come. Said because the harvest is come. And like the pastor said, it's not just harvest time, but the letter harvest. Meaning your the seed is ripe. It's ready for the harvest. Hallelujah. You might not feel like it. You might not, uh, you must, might, maybe the devil might remind you of the many things you've gone through. But my brother, it has nothing to do with you. It is God's promise. God is the farmer. And he cast the seed out there. Hallelujah. But in the seed, there was potential to come to fruition, to come to maturity, and to bring forth a hundredfold. Hallelujah. And the time is now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless and be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I feel the atmosphere. Amen. It's already charged. It's ready. Now it's upon you to reach out. To anoint your feet. And reach out and grab your blessings. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The fivefold ministry is here. And the voice of the archangel is filled in them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're going to call your name. Just like Peter on the day of Pentecost. When he came out of the upper room, he came stuttering. Hallelujah. And the carnal minded thought he was drunkard. But they were somehow right. He was drunkard of the Holy Ghost of the new wine. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the Holy Ghost came upon, was, was upon him. And even in him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And he gave utterance. And whatever he spoke, he said, probably it was 15 minutes. But the 3,000 had their names. They had their names. And they screamed, What shall we do, men and brethren? Hallelujah. We are in for another blessing, brother. Hallelujah. Amen. Be in that juncture. Be in that point where he's going to do something special. I mean, I don't care what chaos you are in. I don't care what is your problem. Hallelujah. Because the world was in an and void. It was total chaos. But the Holy Spirit brooded. Brooded over that. And the Holy Spirit is going to brood over your seed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. And it's going to bless you positionally in the body of Christ. By fire, this time, the experience is going to be permanent. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hallelujah. Praise Him and worship Him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to the hooker. Hallelujah. This is your week. This is your weekend. This is your mission. Hallelujah. 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 going to invite a brother and a soldier the man with a backbone the man hallelujah who has taken a stand amen the brother from South Africa his name is brother Fabian Maria Maria Marias from Port Elizabeth South Africa he's gonna give 
his testimony. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And Brother Fabian, Amen. We expected you, and you are longing to see you in our meeting, in our youth convention. But we are grateful and thankful God will hear you. Speak and give your testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Gabriel told me about you, your testimony and your stand. Amen. We are also understanding. We also understand that uh, your father-in-law is your pastor. And we greet him in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So we need more soldiers. We also salute the youth in Port Elizabeth. And we are looking forward very soon to be with you and be in a meeting. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Greetings in that wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want to take this opportunity to greet the local Christian assembly of Nairobi and Totoro in that wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And all the young people that's gathered to hear the word of God. I also want to take, I want to say thank you to Brother Ben Achu and his precious wife, Sister Sarah, for the invitation, amen, to greet the youth convention. And a special thank you and God bless you. Amen to Brother Gabriel for asking me on behalf of Brother Ben Achu. Just a little background. Amen. How I know Brother Ben Achu. Amen. I met Brother Ben Achu in and Brother Musgrove, Dave Musgrove, at the Western Walls in Jerusalem. That's my first time I met Brother Bernard Schutt in person. But I'm acquainted with this ministry since 2008, and Brother Bernard Schutt has always been a blessing to the Bride of Christ. And I believe it was the following year that Brother Bernard Schutt was invited on behalf of our youth down in South Africa to be the guest minister to the young people in Johannesburg. Amen. And at the same time, I also met Brother Gabriel and we also shared a bungalow. Or I believe it was a chalet, but we shared the room together and what a wonderful time we had in Johannesburg. And he's also been a blessing to our young people. But since then, many things have happened, but by the grace of God, amen, uh, there's sometimes bonds that can't be broken, amen, and uh, I believe, brother, brother Gabriel, that's the bond that we shared, and amen, and he's a man that loves the Lord, loves the, the word of God, and uh, many times we end up fellowshipping for hours just around God's word, and it's always been a blessing to fellowship with my precious brother. And I brought the request uh, to my pastor. And he said, by all means, amen. So he said, also greet the convention. So I just want to convey on behalf of my precious pastor, Brother Elwin Isaacs, and the ministering brethren, and also the church, they all greet you all in that wonderful name of Jesus, praise God. And also on behalf of my precious wife, Sister Eve, and my two little kids, uh, Rachel, Jeremiah, we want to say a warm shalom to the Bride of Christ. It's always good to be in fellowship. Amen. Praise God. I believe there's only one place, amen, where a believer can meet the Lord uh, in fellowship and that's under the shed blood of our Lord Jesus Christ amen and that's where we are gathered this morning amen under the blood of Jesus praise God to have some fellowship praise God Amen. and I won't keep you too long if we have our Bibles I'll read from two portions of scriptures amen St. Mark 4 
Praise God from verse 20. And then Saint, uh, Saint John 15. Praise God if we have the scriptures. Amen. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word, receive it, and bringeth forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some a hundred. Praise God. And verse 26, and it says, And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground, and should sleep and rise night and day. The same seed should spring and grow up. He knoweth not how. For the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself. First the blade, then the ear. After that the full corn in the ear. But when the earth is brought forth, immediately he putteth. Amen. In the sickle, because the harvest is come. Praise God. And St. John 15, if we have it from verse 3. Now, ye are clean through the word which I spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in a vine. No more can he abide except he abide in me. I am the vine in here, and here are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, he can do nothing. Praise God. What a beautiful statement there from our Lord Jesus Christ. Without me, he can do nothing. Praise God. And if we scroll down to verse 7, it says, If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Ye in is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit. So shall ye be my disciples, as the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye. Amen. He in my love. Amen. So what? Amen. Scriptures. I am blessed by it. Amen. Just by the reading of the word. Praise God. May the Lord add the blessings to the reading of his word. Amen. Just for a small thought. Amen. Praise God. The manifestation. Amen. Of the bright tree. Bringing forth, amen, her fruit, praise God. Amen. And for a subject, when the fruit, praise God, when the fruit is brought forth, the harvest has come. Amen. So, amen, I'm not going to be preaching, just a small exhortation. Amen. So, listen, praise God. We see in the world today, young people, amen, we see that, amen, many organizations, amen, denominations, Amen. Political powers. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Communism. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, religious powers. Amen. They all bringing forth their fruit. Amen. But Jesus warned us by their fruits you shall know them. Amen. Praise God. Listen. Oral Roberts. Billy Graham, amen, you see, amen, praise God, their fruit, amen, is coming to a harvest, praise God. But listen, amen, there's a bright seed, praise God, which was sown, praise God, by Malachi 4, amen, amen, because, amen, there was a promise, praise God, I will visit you, amen, according to the time of life. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So bride of Christ. Amen. Praise God. You are predestinated. Amen. To bring forth. Amen. Not only fruit. Amen. Not only more fruit. But much fruit. Amen. And the scripture says. Yea. Is my father glorified. Amen. Amen. 
Listen, amen, praise God, amen, young people, you accept the Lord Jesus Christ, amen, praise God, now you bring forth fruit, praise God, amen, but amen, they come trials, they come hardship, praise God, they come testing times, every son and daughter must be tested and chastised, amen, praise God, because if you don't get tested, amen, you are not the son of God, Amen. But listen, amen. Every son and daughter must be tested in trial. Praise God. And now you're bringing forth more fruit. Amen. Virtue. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Temperance, patience. Amen. More fruit. Amen. Godliness. Brotherly kindness, more fruit, praise God. Now charity, the capstone of love. Amen. See, there is my spirit flowing freely. Amen. And now charity. Amen. Himself, the Holy Spirit, praise God. Amen. Christ, amen. Coming down. Amen. And praise God, manifest much fruit. Yahid is my Father glorified. Amen, young people. Amen, you are not any grounds. Amen, you are not, amen, those grounds where the seed fell on the wayside. Stony ground. Amen, they can't take root, praise God. Amen, and, and, and praise God. And as the scripture says, some fell amongst the thorns, which is the cares of this world, the witches of this world. And when that seed the amen comes up, amen, the cares and the riches, amen, chokes them, praise God, amen, praise God, but you are not that seed, praise God, your seed, praise God, amen, God predestinated, amen, down in East Africa, amen, there will be some good ground, amen, right around the world, amen, praise God, that heard the voice of God, for this day and accept it, praise God. Amen. That is good ground, praise God. Amen. Brother Brennan says, Amen. Listen, Amen. In a message, our hope is in God. He says, For it is not a man that speak, it's God. This is God's voice to the people. Every word of God is a seed and will produce just exactly, Amen, like it's spoke in the Bible. Amen. And if it be received in good ground, now that's God's voice to His church. Oh, church of the living God. Amen. You accepted the voice of your day. Amen. Praise God because it produced just what the Bible said. Praise God. Malachi 4 says, St. Luke 17, 30. Praise God. Amen. Revelation 10, 7. Amen. Praise God. It produced just what the Bible says. Amen. But when that prophet stood on the earth, Amen. He spoke spoken words. See, praise God. Amen. And it found predestinated good ground. Amen. Some in East Africa, some in West Africa, some in South Africa. Amen. Right around the world. Days of pride. Praise God. That's bringing forth her fruit. Praise God. Amen. A manifestation of the bright tree bringing forth her fruit. Amen, amen. And the harvest cannot come if there's no fruit, praise God. But when the fruit is brought forth, amen, the harvest has come. Oh, what a season, what a time, what a jubilee, amen, to serve God, praise God. Amen, amen. Amen, it's joy, amen, this evening to serve the Lord, young people. Amen, I can guarantee you 100%. Amen. Praise God. If you give 100%, Amen. God will bless you. Amen. God will manifest Himself to you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Listen. In the message, I will restore, say the Lord. Amen. The, in the message, restoration of the bright tree. Brother Branham says, I will restore. Amen. Say the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. 
Praise be to God. Amen. The fourth light disc is to come. Amen. That will bring forth the same signs. What justification? Amen. Brought back the, uh, the Pope. The sanctification brought back the Pope. The doctrine of holiness. Amen. What brought back the leaves? Pentecost. What is it? Pentecost leaves. Amen. Clapping their hands. Joy. Rejoicing. Pentecost. Amen. What? Amen. Amen. The fourth light was the word itself. Amen. The word made flesh. Praise God. The fruits, praise God, amen, of the proof of the resurrection, the sign that Christ has finally, amen, after justification being planted, sanctification being planted, the baptism of the Holy Ghost, organizations die out, amen, Christ, amen, has again seated himself, like himself, like the cap of the pyramid, amen, the first line, uh, justification, sanctification, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Then come the cap. What is it? Praise God. The Holy Ghost bunch being honed out. Praise God. Amen. That is, that can fit the same kind of ministry he had when he went away. Praise God. Amen. When he comes back, amen, he'll catch the whole thing in the rapture. Amen. With the justified, sanctified, the holy, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. The pyramid will stand again. The house of God will live again. Praise God. The tree of life is growing again. Amen. 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 Young people. Amen. God has called us out into a bright age. The fourth light. And in there, praise God, there will be a manifestation of seven living voices, praise God. But the scripture says, abide in me, for I am the vine, and you are the branches. Amen, praise God. Brother Bram says, I could not hold back, praise God, but to utter those voices, praise God. Amen, what was it? It was the energizing power that came from the vine, and it's going through the branches to produce much fruit, praise God. Amen, amen. Amen, what is the fruit? The fruit of the resurrection, the proof, praise God, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Oh, we can rejoice this, uh, this evening, praise God. Amen. You can rejoice, praise God, because the harvest has come. Amen. And I believe the bride has made herself ready. Amen. For a mighty, mighty, amen, manifestation of seven loving voices. What will do it, praise God? It will be the energizing power. Amen, amen, amen. So bride of Christ, young people, there will be a mighty outpouring. Amen, it's a promise. It's been spoken by Malachi 4. And I believe it, praise God. God bless you, bride of Christ. Amen. Glory to God. As we're gonna invite our God servant, brother Conte. That's mighty servant of God. How we long. Oh hallelujah. We've been waiting to hear from you, God servant. Brother Conte, we love you. East Africa loves you. We know you. Hallelujah. In the way of revelation. That you're a servant of God and a fivefold minister. Amen. Chosen for this generation, for this time. To impart eternal life eternal to the, to the elect. To perfect them. Amen. How we salute your ministry. How we appreciate you. As we invite him, let's sing these songs. This song. Amen. Through it all, I have loved, I've learned. Trust in Jesus. Amen. It's been right, God's servant. Sing that song.
Shall we just lift bow our heads for a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, I want to thank you, dear Lord, for the season that we have been called into. And thank you, dear Lord, for the Holy Spirit himself by the word, identifying the season. Lord, for the young people and for all of us as well. Caleb's Lord, inclusive. It's a bright season, bright time. Lord, when the seed of God in us that has been nourished for all these years will now begin to take on life, God shall begin to give resurrection to our seed. What a time of jubilee. What a time of worship. What a time of praise. Father, we thank you, Jesus. Now we know exactly where we are at. We've come to the time of the harvest. We've come to the end of time. Time shall be no more. The only time now left on the earth, Lord, is bright time. And we thank you, Jesus, that you have placed us in the season, Lord Father, a time of the manifestation of the sons of God. Oh, we shall become the living word of God on the earth once again. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the young people across the nations. Lord God, may this world as going forth in this season find every young man. And may the seed of God that is in the heart of every young man be quickened to life in the season. Lord, may you cut across the whole world, east, west, north, and south. Lord God, and bring in your people, because this is the reaping season. May every seed of God that's predestinated of God be reaped back into yourself. Oh, we thank you, Father. Bless the convention, Father. It's virtual. But what is most important, Lord, is the reality of the presence of the angel of the Lord. May there be God a divine visitation to the young people. May there be an experience of the Holy Ghost baptism with feelings after with feelings to bring them, Lord, to the conscious realization of who they are. That they are not weak. There is no weakness in any young man. The Bible says, young men, you are strong because the word of God abideth in you. And every young man is supposed to be an overcomer because of our strength is the word. So we thank you, Jesus Christ, for this revelation of the hour. So bless the word that I shall be speaking, Lord, for just a few minutes. And Lord, bless the, the word that has been spoken by the previous speakers. Lord, I believe, Lord, every word went forth with fire. And I believe, Lord, every predestinated seed of God has been connected to the fire. And life will begin to show forth in the season. I want to also pray there, Lord, for all the other ministers that shall be speaking after me. May you bless them, Father. May this convention be one that will be so special. Lord, may this be the season for the manifestation of fire, charity, baptism of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Father God, for today. Thank you, Father, for all that you've done for us. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, I want to bring first of all greetings to the convention. Amen. And I want to also bring a salute to my precious friend and brother, Brother Ben Achute, 
for his courage and boldness to hold this convention though it virtual in this hour of judgment praise god when the world is in gross darkness plagued everywhere everything has been brought down to stand still but ben we appreciate you we love you and we are one love from headstone gospel tabernacle the ministry and all the people in here send you warm greetings and we thank you very much for your stand your stand for the word for this day and i also want to bring greetings to every young person that is in east africa and also across the world that has been hooked up to this convention may this be your season to receive the holy ghost baptism and we feel him. may this be the season that god shall give you an experience that will let you know exactly who you are because you came from god and it is sure that you can only go back to god so be under expectation the holy ghost baptism that you belong so long awaited for or you've been so awaiting for may this be the season that god himself will give you a divine visitation to quicken the seed of god as in your heart oh praise god hallelujah so therefore on behalf of my wife sister sarah and the headstone gospel tabernacle we bring you greetings and we bring you a seventh thunder salute in this hour of judgment praise god amen thank you very much i want to also thank the ministers who have spoken before me but the benachute thank you very much for that opening message changing the season from the time of harvest to the literal harvest there has to be a literal harvest a manifestation of the holy spirit because we must come forth as a manifestation that is the literal harvest when the son of man the cloud of seven angels is coming back to reap the seed of god is in your soul to reap the virtues in you praise god hallelujah so therefore we are thankful so much for that keynote message identifying the season that the bride is now moving from the time of average to the literal harvest what a message that was praise god hallelujah it takes jesus christ himself by the word to turn the corners and identify the season so young people this is your time this is your time for literal harvest god is now changing you from just a harvest time to the literal harvest a reaping season when god is coming back to reap you back to himself amen and also what can we say about brother caleb's message a young man on fire a large heart for god and for the young people we love you so much and may god richly bless you amen praise god hallelujah thank you for that message that the fruits is now on the vine wow what a message that was the fruit really young people your fruit is now on the vine just getting ready to be ripped oh praise god hallelujah and i want to also thank the kruger this morning once more lord yes once more lord and that should be the cry of every young person and also even the caleb's we've all come to the end of the road once more lord amen once more lord may god bring down the wave sheaf of the holy ghost once more like it was in the day of pentecost like it was with malachi 4. amen the waving of another sunrise praise god amen the cloud of glory coming back to anoint our faith our seed to bring us back to life amen so lord that's our cry for the season lord god just once more so thank you very much for the kruger and also the young brother from south africa what a testimony that was blessed are the people that know the joyful sound oh yes lord blessed is the people that know the joyful sound and they shall walk O oh lord in the light of thy countenance praise god thank you brother fabian that was a masterpiece that was a powerful greeting identify the season and the state that we should be in praise this is no time to be sad i don't see why any young man should be sad in a time like this because this is your time for jubilee 
the sound of the jubilee the sound of the trumpet is certain so we are not preaching an uncertain sound the sound is certain and the sound is clear praise god and what is the sound saying the sound is saying that this is your time for jubilee this is your time for freedom this is the time when god himself will cut off the enemies behind you praise god the pillar of fire will move right in front of you come behind you and cut off your enemies like it was in the first exodus and we are going home it's the time that god shall cut off hybrid man cut off your human spirit and bring you back to your original state bring you back to really who and what you are in christ jesus the holy spirit oh you shall become a manifestation of the holy spirit for your day so this is time to jump and to rejoice and to shout because you know that you know that your time of liberty your time for freedom is come at last no more time to be subjected to the bondage of corruption but it's now time to be a manifested son oh praise god hallelujah and you young man don't you ever think that you are weak because you are not weak the scriptures declares your strength the scripture says young man you are strong because the word of god abideth in you so your strength is the word and we know the secret the secret is the word is in the bride and now the mind of christ the intelligence the voice of the archangel even michael is coming down in this season to let you know what to do with the word so this is no time to be sad and to be dismayed praise god because you've come to the end of the road hallelujah praise god that seed of god in you shall take on life you have already overcome you overcome false interpretations you overcome all the false ideas you overcome all men's ideas praise god you've come to the real world so why must you be sad you are already an overcomer i don't care about your the weaknesses in your flesh but you are already an overcomer i like john write to the young men of his day even so i say i write unto you young men because you have overcome the wicked one i write unto you young men because praise god you are strong and the word of god abideth in you and ye have overcome the wicked ones why must you be sad the scriptures have identified your strength the bible says you are strong and that must be a confession so pull your chest out and lift up your shoulders and tell the devil who you are because the word of god abideth in you that makes you strong praise god hallelujah so therefore thank you for everything we are looking forward for a mighty manifestation of the holy spirit in this season amen and we are so grateful so therefore i have a little thought for the young people this season and my thought is let every seed bring forth after its kind because we've come back now to the fruit season the season to bring forth the fruit of your seed in this season let every seed bring forth after its kind that will be my 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 topic for this for the young people this season amen and of course uh, my inspiration is the harvest is here just want to keep my message in behind the brothers who have spoken before me and i pray that the few words i will say will be a blessing to you amen so let's just take our scriptures and turn to the bible genesis 1 11 and genesis 1 26 27 and 28 amen so this will be a message of faith for the season Thank you, Brother Williams. What a humble servant you are. Amen. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind and god saw that it was good so you see this is how god sowed every seed god planted every seed upon the earth praise god and there was darkness upon the face of the earth and god said let there be light that was god calling those seeds to a resurrection so when god said let every seed bring forth after its kind it was god calling the seed to a resurrection because light was already on the earth Genesis 1.26 is here to identify your seed that was sown in your heart right from the beginning. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness. 
and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. So we have come to our season. Adam could not come to his season of fruitfulness and multiplication. But praise God we are there now. God saw a bride that will come to, to the fulfillment of the scripture. A bride that will be fruitful and then multiply. And replenish the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea. And over the fowl of the air. And over every living thing that moveth upon the earth so these are my scriptures for the season every seed bringing forth after his kind so every seed that god planted on the earth by the word has his kind praise god and the only way you can bring forth your fruit that means the fruit of your seed is when you know the kind of your seed because the seed was asked to bring forth after its kind so every seed has his kind praise god hallelujah and what is your kind you know what your kind is the kind is the fruit of your seed and the only way you shall be known or be identified is by your fruit for you shall know them by their fruit see the fruit of the seed is what identifies what that seed is Praise God, and that is what God is asking for, that every seed bring forth after its kind. So like it was in Genesis, God planted the seeds, all kinds of seeds was upon the face of the earth. And the Bible says darkness covered the face of the earth. Praise God. And those seeds had life in them, but those seeds had to wait for the time of the call to the resurrection. Like we are now in this season, a time of the call to the resurrection God calling the seed back to its original life God calling the seed to bring forth its original life because there's a life hidden right in that seed and that life cannot come forth except at the time of the call to the resurrection and there cannot be a resurrection given to the seed except thy son light so God has to bring the life of light upon the earth let there be light and the life of the light connects with the life of the seed and that's what makes a resurrection so there cannot be a resurrection without the life of the light the life of the sun connecting to the life of the seed praise god hallelujah so when god said let every seed bring forth after its kind that was god calling the seed to a resurrection God calling the seed to a manifestation of the life that was in that seed. And the life of the sun must connect with the life that's in the seed to bring forth a resurrection. And what a joy that was. Joy came to the seed because life was coming back on the earth. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. And that's exactly where we've come. So all those seeds that were sown back in Genesis have now all come to the time of harvest a time to reap what was sown but my emphasis here was the seed of god that was sown among other seeds because that is your seed and if you know what your seed is then you know what kind of seed you have and the kind of your seed is your fruit every seed bringing forth after its kind every seed bringing forth after its fruit the fruit of your seed praise god hallelujah so you have come right to the end of the age the end of time and we are back like it was in Genesis. Gross darkness is upon the face of the deep. Gross darkness is upon the face of the earth. Like it was spoken in the book of Isaiah. Gross darkness shall cover the earth. But in the time of that gross darkness, your light and your glory shall be seen upon you. God will send light. What light? Not the light of the S-U-N sun, but the light of the S-O-N sun. And God gave us a promise. He gave us a sun of the cloud that hold the amber light up in Mount Sunset, Mount Arizona, just at a time when the world is at its sunset. See? Then God sent light 
because there shall be light in the evening time and God gave us a sign by a cloud of seven angels up in Mount Arizona and in that cloud was the amber light Elohim himself because God is light that amber glory that amber light was right in the cloud that was God giving us a sign and the cloud hung there for 28 minutes 28 minutes of sun lit praise God in the evening time there shall be light why did the light come the light had to come because there were seeds in this age of Laodicea that was laying in darkness seeds of young people laying in darkness and they needed light to strike the seed praise God hallelujah but we were given a three passageway a three phase passageway to come to the sunlight see that a three passageway a three a three phases passageway but only kindness holy decency then place in Christ see and when we come to our place in Christ then we should be automatically connected to Malachi first third pool which is dynamics which is the sun lit for 28 minutes oh 28 minutes 28 days time of life life coming back to the sea the light of the sun the light of God that was in the cloud will now begin to connect with the life of God as in your seed and that's how you come back to resurrection then the life of God as in your seed will come back to its original state like it was in the mind of Elohim oh praise God what a revelation so a three phases passageway but only kindness holy decency then we find our place in Christ our place in the Godhead see that place in the Godhead has to be identified because you can bring forth after your kind except you know what your kind is how can you have faith to bring forth after your kind if you don't even know what your kind is oh praise God so you've got to know what your kind is the kind of your seed the fruit of your seed then you can bring forth after your kind so you need a revelation that reveals to you what your kind is who really you are because you are your kind oh praise God hallelujah so therefore by the grace of God the angel of the Lord even Michael has led us this far now we've come to our third phase see the third phase and once we find our place in the Godhead once we find our position in Christ in the Godhead once we find our heavenly place our heavenly position oh then we should be automatically connected to Malachi 4 third pool which was his third pool was a cloud of seven angels with the amber glory of Elohim in the cloud that is his third pool a cloud of seven angels with Elohim's amber glory in the cloud that is Malachi first third pool and that is dynamics so once we come to our place in Christ oh once we can find our place in Christ once we can find who we are in the Godhead then we should be automatically connected to the hot July Sun automatically connected to Malachi first third pool which is the dynamics coming back to connect with our with our mechanics oh what a revelation and now we know exactly who we are we know our spirit we know our seed amen that our seed is not our natural flesh no but our seed is our spiritual seed the spiritual seed of abraham and that seed itself is christ that's our seed oh and if the seed is christ then that seed can only bring forth christ because the seed only bring forth after its kind so if your seed is jesus christ then what do you bring forth you can only bring forth another son of god jesus christ oh hallelujah praise god amen hallelujah and i want to believe in this season that the connection is now being made because there's a bride there's a people on the earth who know the joyful sound who know who they are they've identified who they are they know their holy spirit they are not the holy spirit but we are holy spirit that's our true spirit that is our identity that is who we are praise god and in this season young man i prophesy to you in the name of the lord any other spirits hanging on you that's not the holy spirit will leave you this time this is time for all the egyptians in your life to go there's only one spirit that you are and that is holy spirit that is your identification that is who you are that is your nature because you came from god 
you can only go back to God because the scripture says if any man had not the spirit of Christ he is none of his so the only way to be one with God the only way to belong to God is by the Holy Spirit and don't let any man take you away from this the Holy Spirit is your original spirit and once you know that strength comes into you to begin to drive out of your flesh any spirit that's not of God oh praise god hallelujah glory to god amen i feel the fire strikes that amen you will never be able to know what spirit should leave you you will not be delivered except you know exactly who you are when you know what your spirit is when you know that you come from god and you cannot come from god you can't come from the godhead and be another spirit if you come from the godhead then you have only one spirit and that is the spirit of the Godhead, which is the Holy Spirit. Because you we are created in the image and the likeness of God. And Brother Branham identified this clearly in the message. Oh, hallelujah, praise God. Now that you know who you are, you can now be delivered. Your enemies can now be cut off. You now know whatever spirit upon you that's not the Holy Spirit has got to leave. Authority, power comes into your spirit. He, to quicken that seed, to drive out every other spirit in you that's not of God. All this, all this, all this filthy spirit, sex demons hanging on you, lying spirit, backsliding spirits, spirit of pornography hanging on you. This is their time to go. Pray because you know who you are. Oh, you know you are not those spirits. You are not even supposed to identify yourself by with those spirits. Your spirit is the spirit of God, which is Holy Spirit. Praise God to receive a charge of faith in your spirit this season. That any spirit in you, any spirit upon you, does not the Holy Spirit, does not of holiness, that spirit must leave. So this revelation of who you are should give you strength to drive out your Philistines from your land. There's no more time to connive, praise God, and, and walk in alignment with those evil spirits. Amen. You've come to the end of the road. They've got to leave. God himself will send fire from the dynamics to help your seed to drive out those enemies, to drive out those fallen angel spirits. Because you were never a part of those fallen angel spirit. You came in from the capstone. You are the capstone headstone bride. You know who you are. So take your position this season. Amen. See yourself above every other spirit. See yourself above those sex spirits. See yourself above those pornography spirit. See yourself above all these filthy spirits that roam in the earth. God has placed you in position. You are way up there. And all these spirits are supposed to be under you. You are supposed to subdue them. Praise God because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. If the bride only knows who she is. And praise be to God. Now you know who you are. You know where you come from. And you know where you are going. And nothing can stop you. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. So we know our place. Three places in the God here. I want to nail this down. Amen. Three places in the Godhead. The place of the Father, the place of the Son, and the place of the Holy Spirit. So you know your place in the Godhead. You know you come from the Godhead. You know you come from the capstone. Because you are a capstone bride. You are a headstone bride. So your place in the Godhead is called Holy Spirit. That is your slot in the Godhead. That's your place that God has reserved for you in the Godhead. That's the place that God has prepared for you in the Godhead. Praise God, hallelujah. And the spirit of truth has been here to guide you into your place in Christ. To guide you into your slot in the Godhead. The Holy Spirit. Now we are back there. We've come back to our original life. We've come back to our original condition, our original state. And that is what harvest time is all about. Because the prophet said at harvest time, the seed comes back to its original life. See, that's harvest time. Harvest time brings the seed back to its original life. It brings the seed back to its original glory. It brings the seed back to its original life, its original glory. So your seed is back to its original glory. That is what harvest time is all about. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. The seed is back to its original life, back to the Bible. Malachi 4 said it will be brought that way. Oh my. And it must have all the world to be this way. It must have all of the world. Amen. You see, is that right? That's it. So now we understand exactly what harvest time is. Praise God. The seed is back to its original life. 
what life the life of the bible you are back to the bible back to the spoken word you are back to your original condition oh praise god hallelujah god restores you back to really who and what you are you are not hybrid man you are not a sinner you are not all this national spirit you are not an african you are not an american you come from god there's no weakness in god there's no weak parts in god god is strong god is omnipotent god is omniscience you come from god and that's really who you are so pull your chest out lift up your shoulders and face that demon there that's trying to tell you and not that that's who you are that's your consciousness that is your reality so work in the reality of who you are that i am a son of god i came from god i'm going back to god and nothing can stop it the time is already late for the devil satan it is late you cannot stop any young man in the season because the time of life has come oh hallelujah praise god hallelujah glory amen and thank god we've come to the resurrection finally our place in christ our holy spirit which is our seed can now connect to malachi 4 third pool which is dynamics god coming to bring forth the hidden mysteries of your life the hidden mysteries of the dynamics of your seed that's the message of the hour oh hallelujah praise but we must first come to a place in christ you see you must find your place in christ to be connected to the whole july sun where the bride finds her place in christ then our third phase should automatically connect to malachi for third pool hot july sun a cloud of seven angels with the amber glory of god in it that's how it should be so how can you be connected back to the hot july sun how can you be connected back to your father to the cloud of seven angels the cloud of glory if you don't even know who you are if you have not been able to find your place in christ your third phase your place in christ it's so important oh because in the place in christ you actually know what your seed is oh hallelujah praise god and but the branham laid the seed down amen that when god created his man in his image after his likeness was a seed of his word see that's the spoken word so the spoken word was able to create a spirit man see because the seed the spoken word is the original seed and that seed cannot sin so in the beginning god said let us make man in our image after our likeness see what man did he create he created the seed of his word but that man also was a spirit man so you see you tie the two together because god is a spirit and if god created a man in his image after his likeness then that man can only be a spirit man see but the prophet now called that spirit man a seed of his word so your spirit man your holy ghost man is the seed of his word and that is the original man that's the original you that is you in the realms of the spirit that is you in christ that is you in elohim that is your original you holy spirit a spirit that was created in the image and likeness of god that's you oh hallelujah a seed of his word a seed of the logos a seed of elohim that's your seed oh praise god and that's the seed of the entire bible and malachi 4 was able to fulfill his commission to bring back that seed and put that seed into the gamma so malachi 4 gather up the seed took all the word that makes that seed and put that seed into the gamma oh praise god hallelujah and apostolic ministry came behind it pick up back enter into the labors of the prophet take back that seed to identify the bride seed for our season so we know what our seed is joseph perfection seed holy ghost seed that's our seed the seed of jesus christ the seed of abraham christ is the seed that is your seed oh the holy spirit that is your original seed and it takes the word to catch that spirit hallelujah praise god hallelujah praise god so now you see that and god from a little group of the true seed of the world say god will present christ a beloved bride a virgin a virgin of his word and through them and by them will be fulfilled all that has been promised for his word in the virgin who knows no man made creeds or dogmas 
the word of promise in himself like it was in mary god himself made manifest he will act himself by his own word of promise so to fulfill all that was written of him as he did when he came from the virgin womb oh a type of the spirit womb now so will the virgin now accepting his word be it unto me as thou hast said see though it was said by an angel while it was yet while it yet was the written word isaiah 9 6 so you see so god is now bringing forth from the little group of the true seed of the world he will present christ a beloved bride a virgin a virgin of the world so the word is your virginity the virgin word of god that is your word that is who you are the word that cannot sin the word that is unadulterated the word of god has the word that that who you are oh praise god hallelujah we are so thankful for the season Oh, praise God, hallelujah. It's so exciting. Oh, what a blessing this is. What a time this is. What an age this is. Just to know who you are. Oh, praise God, hallelujah. And God be able to find you. So now here we are, young people. That seed of God in you is now connecting to the dynamics, the prophet's thought pool. Because now you know who you are. Now you know you are Holy Spirit. Now you know where you come from. Now you know where you are going. You cannot fail. There is no failure in God. There is no mistake in God. This is your season. Praise God. Hallelujah. Time of life. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. So this is time to celebrate your jubilee celebrate your joy the joy the joy the joy of the joyful sound oh hallelujah praise god amen so we are here we have arrived amen changing from the time of average to little harvest see because now elohim is now coming down to reap the fruit that's on the vine the fruits that's on the vine that's the only thing he will reap in this season oh god Amen. And Jesus Christ himself is coming down to reap the fruit that's on your vine. Oh, what are the fruit? The fruit of your spirit. So when you identify who you are, that you are Holy Spirit, that is your true identity. When you identify that, that you know what your seed is, that you know your Holy Spirit seed can only bring forth after its kind. Praise God. It's because your seed, which is your spirit, was actually created in the image and the likeness of God. Then the fruit of your spirit will be nothing less than logos, nothing less than the word promised for this day. That is your fruit. The fruit of your spirit is Galatians 5. The fruit of the spirit is love, is joy, is peace, long suffering. That's the fruit of your spirit. The fruit of your spirit also is second Peter 1. After your faith, virtue and knowledge and temperance and patience. Praise God, you see. Because what the Branham said, the seven spirits, you see, are the seven fruit of the spirit that was reflected back in his church. You see, so the Branham is identifying these virtues as fruits. Oh, and how that sound they shall know you. The seven spirits of God are the seven fruit of the spirit that would reflect back in his people. What a promise. So we see Galatians 5, fruit of the spirit. Then the virtues, the seven spirits of God, see which are seven spirits, seven thunders, seven seals, seven horns, seven eyes. These are all the seven fruit of your spirit that would reflect back in his people. So you understand exactly what your fruit is. The fruit on your vine is these virtues. The fruit on your vine is the very nature and essence of Jesus Christ. The fruit on your vine is the glory of Elohim. What is his very nature, his very essence, his very being. This is your fruit. This is who you are. That's the fruit of your spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. So what season are we in? Now you know you are the vine. You know exactly the fruits are now on the vine. And Elohim is here to reap the fruit that's on the vine. Oh, the fruit of your spirit. Hallelujah. You shall bring forth a manifestation of Jesus Christ on the face of the earth 
and all the stature of a perfect man shall stand on the earth the pyramid will stand up again and there shall be a seventh on the revival sons of god coming forth into a manifestation of the holy spirit for this age and for the season and all shall see jesus christ walking in you jesus christ living in you jesus christ speaking in you signs wonders all following you because why these are the fruits of your spirit for this day hallelujah and i am not going to stop preaching this way and stop preaching this until i see the fruit because the son of man is coming back in the cloud of seven angels to reap the fruit that's on your vine oh what a revelation for the season what a time so now we know what our seed is and the fruit of our seed the fruit of our spirit then harvest time can now begin we can now change from harvest time to little harvest when jesus christ himself comes and gather the fruit back into the ghana the ghana of himself take you back to himself he prepared a place for you and is coming back to take you to himself that's where he is there you may be also what's a revelation so you find your place in saint john 14 20 now you know who you are you understand your fruit you understand exactly where you're coming from so you know exactly in this season your fruit are coming forth your fruit are coming forth because the hot july sun ah that comes to ripen the seed will strike that seed and all the potentials of God in your seed will begin to be made a manifestation. The voice of God, the voice from that excellent glory will strike the seed. The voice of the archangel will bring forth a resurrection, bringing forth all the potentials of God, bringing forth deity and divinity that is in your seed. Oh, hallelujah. That is what the voice of the archangel does. The voice from that excellent glory will bring forth a resurrection so you see now we can be born all the potentials the divine potentials of god in us will now be born or be made manifest because a call is coming to them by the voice of the archangel which is a voice of the resurrection hallelujah praise god so now we now we are, we are there seven voices will thunder from the cloud of glory and call the seed of god in us to a resurrection then you will see faith coming forth the faith of jesus christ the virtue of jesus christ knowledge of jesus christ temperance of jesus christ patience of jesus christ on and on and on unto the fullness of jesus christ even charity will flow out of you oh that is the resurrection call that is the voice of the archangel the voice of god from that excellent glory seven voices coming to you as one voice of the archangel even a voice of the resurrection to call deity in you to call divinity in you because deity lives in you divinity resides in you just waiting for the call of a resurrection and the voice of the archangel is here in the season to make call to call the seed let every seed bring forth after its kind hallelujah so what are you expecting from your seed i'm expecting deity i'm expecting signs i'm expecting miracles i'm expecting change i'm expecting divinity i'm expecting the supernatural to be manifestation it will flow hallelujah please god out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water five streams of love five streams of grace five streams of glory from sister shepherd's dream will flow out of your body the glory of god the supernatural signs wonders miracles everywhere will flow out of you a resurrection another man a new man shall be born out of you oh hallelujah praise god your holy spirit man shall be loosed hallelujah hey, and they shall see god in you that's the purpose of the resurrection that's the purpose of the 28 minutes of sun lit that we have up in mount arizona and the cloudy glory is coming down 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 we can feel it is here light coming to connect with your seed to bring that seed to life so why must you be worried why must you be sad this is time for jubilee this is time to rejoice because finally you've come to your third phase finally 
the world is now open to you finally the honey in you has been identified you can forgive you no grudges you stand in this convention you are hooked up in faith waiting for your inheritance waiting for your original life so how can you be sad how can you be discouraged praise god it's time for hybrid man and all his deeds to go it's time for the new man in you that new man in you shall be created who after the image of him that created him give you jesus christ oh what a time of rejoicing that's the sudden sound of the trumpet the trumpet of the jubilee hybrid man is finished all your senses are going off praise god hallelujah there's a fire baptism of charity that shall descend upon you and cut your enemy off and your worst enemy praise god is your flesh that must be cut off and all the deeds of your flesh all those things in your flesh that's making you sing making you backslide making you go down the valley praise god making you feel i am not a son of god those things will be cut off praise god the mighty angel is here even michael he shall deliver every name that shall be found written in the book oh so how can we be sad if we only know who we are if we have just found our place in christ how can we be sad i know who i am so i'm expecting to be delivered from every spirit that's not me because i'm going back to my original me i'm going back to my original me who is me holy spirit because i came from god and i'm going back to god again oh hallelujah praise god the enemy is finished the devil is finished praise god this is what we have been waiting for our original seed is back and the seed is back to its original glory and it's now time for the seed to bring forth after its kind to bring forth fruit by the voice of the archangel even the voice of the resurrection oh hallelujah praise god let me just start to be closing out amen i don't intend to stay long i just brought this little message to you amen to anoint your faith for the season that wherever you are as a young person and even as a killer your faith should be anointed by charity to bring down charity your faith should be anointed when you know who you are you know where you're standing there is now time for fire baptism the fire is going to fall and every young man shall be sealed the fire will fall and strength is coming to that seed of god in you to your spirit oh praise god and there shall be a manifestation amen and this can't be intellectual amen the manifestation will produce god right from your inward part oh the radiance of his glory god himself will radiate from you they shall see his influence over your life his presence shall be upon you you shall be seen both in and outside these are your promises for the hour god shall raise you up oh hallelujah praise god amen so the season is here the time has come hallelujah and thank god that once we've come to the call to the resurrection once we've come to the season then time should be no more oh time should be no more young person you understand time should be no more no more time for the world no more time for sin no more time for foolishness time no more because now the angel stands on the land with one foot on sea one foot on land the lamb is now turned to leo the lion is coming out to claim all those who have been redeemed by the word and now you know you have been redeemed by the word praise god and your spirit shall be redeemed your new body shall be redeemed so now you stand right on the threshold of the greatest omnipotence that this world has ever seen supernatural people are coming on the earth supernatural young men are coming on the earth praise god hallelujah oh your humanity your weakness shall be put away you're going back to divinity you are going back to deity you're going back to the supernatural oh and all the natural elements of your flesh will all begin to die under the hot july sun under the fire of the holy ghost god's holy ghost fire shall descend upon you and anything in you and upon you there's not holy spirit will die look at the season you were in this hybrid man this flesh man will die and the life of god in you will take on life oh praise god you're coming back to life a living reality of god god shall be seen in you god shall be walking in you living in you preaching in you worshiping in you it is going back to everything but god again oh hallelujah praise god i am so excited oh to know exactly the season that we are in so that this is time no more see so wherever you are if you are hooked up catch some faith and understand that there's time no more 
all these your lingering issues your lingering problems your lingering sickness whether it's diabetes or cancer it has been lingering on you the enemy has been lingering on you lingering lingering this is the end time time no more time no more to sin time no more to backslide we've come to the end of time we are blending into eternity we are going back to eternal creatures praise god hallelujah the time element is over a call to the resurrection let every seed bring forth after its kind and everything must give way to that seed everything in you that's not of god has to give way to god because god is resurrecting himself in you the seed of god is coming out deity is coming out from you oh what a time to rejoice this is a message and the message is clear the sound is certain and how can you hear this sound and don't be joyful so blesses the people that know the joyful sound and this is the joyful sound you are holy spirit you are coming out free you are not hybrid man you are not an african your spirit came from god the sound is certain the message is clear you are going back to your original state going back to your original condition the fruit of your spirit shall be ripped and go back to the ghana of elohim and logos oh thank you jesus oh we are so grateful so young man so put up your worship put bring back your worship take back your worship take back your praise because your jubilee is here no more time to be sad no more time to be weary no more time to be discouraged you've come to the end of the road you've come to the end of the trail the lord himself will fight for you god will show up praise god hallelujah when that seed of god in you takes on life watch the devils watch every other spirit on you giving way because they cannot stop that seed nothing can hold that seed back because god himself that gave you that seed is making the call to that seed to bring forth after its kind to bring forth after god to bring forth deity to bring forth the manifestation of god that's the call to the resurrection so i'm expecting to be a god on the earth because that was why god created me to be a god on the earth to reflect god on this earth that was your purpose praise god you are supposed to be the word of god on this earth you are the only true word of god in the face of the earth oh every other word outside you is false praise god hallelujah glory so the voice of their kingdom is coming let every seed bring forth after its kind we've come to the end of time we've come to the end of the road i love you so much and keep pressing on because the time of life has come we thank God for everything. So wherever you are this season, just stand to your feet, lift up your hands, lift up your heads, and let me pray for you. Because your time of redemption is drawing nigh. Father, we thank you, dear Lord, for the season. We thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for this time. Lord, just to come behind the previous speakers, Lord, and bring forth the word for the season. Lord, that we've come back to literal harvest. We'll come back to every seed, bringing forth after its kind. Lord, we have found our place in Christ. We've come, Lord, to the living reality of who we are. And Lord, once we find our third phase, Lord, we are supposed to be automatically connected to Malachi 1st third pole, which is the dynamics, a cloud of seven angels. So Lord Jesus, the hot July sun is now here to strike the seed and bring that seed of God in us into a manifestation. That's the joyful sound that, must, that should make every young person shout. That should make every Caleb shout with the understanding that I am coming back to deity. I am coming back to my original life. So thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. May you bless the young people across the world and may you seal them with the Holy Ghost baptism. We thank you, Father, for everything as we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen.
We are grateful, Lord, for the services and for the meetings. We are grateful, Lord, for this opportunity, this moment, Lord. God here with this elect, this peculiar, Lord, uh, children and sons and daughters of God. Oh God, we are grateful, Lord, to be called. Oh God, the children of God. And we are also delegates representing the heavens. All the heavens is behind us. We praise you for it, for your great love. And we see your love has projected. Then sovereign praise has taken over. We give you honor and we give you praise. We bless your name. We pray that you give them traveling masses to go home. Watch over them. Speak to them, Lord. Give them favors to the people that are going to interact with. Prosper them and establish them. In Jesus' name, Lord God, we pray. Bless you, Lord.